So hi. <laughs> I'm going to attempt this review again because I have to say I've done it four times and I either end up cursing too much. Don't want that. Like, uh, I don't know if I said this before, but if anybody knows how to bleep a curse word in Windows Movie Maker, let me know. Okay. Um, this is one I, uh, you've probably seen these around a couple of different places. And this would be the Drip On Demand or the DOD for chat. Um, I received this from Steve at no charge. I thought about buying one I don't know how many times and I thought, God, oh, it's like, look at it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Eva, it looks like a crack pipe. I didn't know. I would be asking you, how do you know what a tr crack pipe looks like? It's what you imagine. Because you know what? As soon as I uh, showed it to my sister, she said, Ooh, that looks like some sort of drug delivery device. Um, and yes, like a bong or something. <laughs> uh, so I resisted, but then I thought everybody's getting one. Um, the idea behind it is if you love dripping, but you don't love, you know, Take the top off the bottle, take the drip tip off, because honestly, nobody drips through these things anymore. Seriously, nobody. It's just as easy to pull it off, drip it in, and put it back on. Um, so anyway, basically this is how it works. Here's your atomizer. You stick the little thing on top of it. Um, here. The juice bottle comes, mine came with three. I don't know how much it comes for. If you go to dripondemand.com, it'll, when you want to buy, it'll forward you to whatever site's selling them. I believe it takes you right to Mad Vapes to order them. A couple of different places have them. Um, around $16.99 across the board. It's made of Delrin. So here's the idea. You got the bottle on the top. Um, I just want to let you know that uh, people were having issues with them not being able to work it right. And, you know, so um, Steve told me, you know, read the instructions before you do it and you should be fine. So I looked at the instructions. I did not read them. I went, oh, instructions. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to do just for the sake of science? I am not going to read the instructions. I am just going to go with it. I'm going to put it on the device. I'm going to vape it. Now, the only one thing that I did do, because I heard a couple of different people say it, is this comes with a, um, on the end, uh, comes with a, one of those cardamizer plugs. And if you look, you can see I've shoved it down inside. Because people said if you shove it down and then put a drip tip on it, it tightens the drop a bit, which becomes an issue because with different atomizers, you're going to get a different fit. This one goes in and stays in pretty snugly, but comes out pretty easily. Um, I've had one other one where it just, it doesn't, you know, if I do this, it'll fall out. And I've had another one where I really had to like shove it down in. So these are not always uniform. So moving right along, I decided I wasn't going to read the instructions. I was just going to fire it on the device and see how I did. So basically you put it on the device, you give it a little squeeze. You will see eventually, depending on, you know, how much airflow and tightness and all that, you will see a bubble. I did 15 takes of this waiting for the bubble and then I went, oh fuck. And then I put it away and the stupid bubble will come. The bubble will come eventually. So that's what I did. It's fired it on and here it went.
Wow. Okay. Now, <coughs> sorry. I bought this, these atomizers, because I'm not really a big dripper anymore. I've gotten into the tanks and it was so much easier. So I bought these uh, dual coil atomizers from Clouds of Vapor. You got to try them. They're awesome if you're a dripper. Uh, and this is some juice that, that had a really huge throat hit to begin with. <laughs> so we'll try this again without coughing up a lung. So yeah, not much of a draw. But now I'm not sure since I didn't read the instructions if I'm supposed to be if I'm supposed to have to squeeze this every so often or if the tight if the fit is good and the surface tension and all the scientific shit if it will feed itself. I don't know. Um, I don't use it enough I don't think to be able to say on that but there's plenty of videos out there of other people and I'm going to tack on a video at the end of this one from um, one of my relatives who has one of these, um, Island Vapor. She's going to tack. I said, put a little video. I'll show her. I'll put it on the end of mine. I'll make you famous. <laughs> but her video is going to be on here. Now, you can also get these with painted. If you're very, very nice, apparently I'm not, to Steve's wife, he will paint you one. I'm kidding. I didn't. She offered to paint one. I didn't want it. I just wanted it black. Um, but yeah, you can get designs on them. They're very cool. And I've seen some skulls, and flames, and fruit, and flowers. Very cool. She's a very talented woman. And I want to thank Steve for this because sitting around and now another thing you need when you're going to use one of these is something you can stand up. Because if you put one of these on an ego, yeah, you, I'm thinking you might have some leakage. But so far I haven't had any because I just put it on, on devices that I can actually stand up. So yeah, I don't want this to go too long because I'm going to tack on the video from, um, from Michela. But I have to say, it's a little ingenious. Like, uh, it sort of takes care of the whole, you know, God, do I got to, where's the bottle? I pull the top off it, take the drip tip off, drip inside and go. I mean, it's right there. So yeah, an ingenious, an ingenious little device. And thank you, Steve, for sending me one. Um, great little price on them. I think they come with three bottles, but okay, wait. Um, back to me being a retard. <laughs> I lost one of the bottles and the, that's the only one that survived. This one, when I was taking the top off, I'm, I'm used to like, just, you know, pulling it off with the, with the cap, like just giving it a jerk to the side. And I pulled the whole top off it. So yeah, that one's toast. I'll have to get myself a couple more, more of these bottles, but, um, a very decent device, a very decent device and a little ingenious idea. So if you haven't got one and you can get past the whole bong slash crack pipe <laughs> look of the thing, you don't need to take it into public. Use it at home. Stay tuned for Michelle's take on it. Well, you're watching Island Vapor on my first review, so has no judgment. And as I was explaining to a couple people, I've been in sales too long, so this is like take 25. Just so you know. Got some vape mail today and I am loving it. You're looking at the DOD or drip on demand. Really, really, really easy to use. Uh, I can't stress how easy it is to use. It's really simple. I'm popping it into my 510 Cardo. Quickly squeeze. About four seconds. Wait for those bubbles to pop up and you're ready to vape. It doesn't, it doesn't change your vaping any. Um, I guess for me, I find the flavor a bit stronger, which I'm enjoying. Um, other than that, it's it's simple to use, great for people on the go. 
Uh, I'm a noob. And if I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. I didn't even know what size cardos I was using today. I needed help on that. So. <laughs> I put it together all by myself. It's a great price. If you have two seconds today, go down to dripondemand.com. Take a look. Good value.